Hello all, my name is Jagrati Pauche and I am a certified data science and analytics coach working at Ematicus Learning. Today we are going to understand Excel, that what are the basics of Excel right from going from basics to advanced and also implementing certain AI related approaches into Excel. So let's begin with what is Excel and how could we implement it into the field of data. So let's begin with understanding Excel. So first of all, let's understand the agenda for the day. Now, what are we going to understand with respect to Excel? That the very first thing we are going to understand is what is Excel. The second is how does industry uses Excel? The third would be advantages of Excel. Then features of Excel that why Excel is one of the prominent tool which is used in the industry. Then few terminologies which are associated with Excel. Then importing the data. Now, we'll understand the very basics of importing data and then eventually go in the advancement of the same. Then, what is the data formatting, which we have already been known with, but let's understand more about it. Now, then we will be performing certain basic calculations with respect to Excel functions. Then, let's understand what is sorting, filtering, and other few data-related operations for the same. Now, before proceeding with what is Excel, or before going to deep dive of the topic of Excel, I want you to make sure that whenever you are understanding any topic, we always try to understand the topic with three important questions, or we can call it as the three important WH questions, which every topic is related with. So with respect to Excel also, I'll try to make you understand the three important WH questions. The very first is what is Excel? Now let's say today I'm going to use Excel Someone is telling me that this is an Excel data and let's try to implement some data analysis. But first I need to know that what is Excel and why I'm using this tool in the market or why this tool is going to be helpful for me in terms of making information or making decisions or deriving something with data. So when I talk upon what is Excel, when this question comes, when people say that it's an application tool, yeah, it's correct. But a formal definition of what is Excel is it's a spreadsheet application. Now, what do you understand by something called a spreadsheet? Spreadsheet is nothing but a 2D grids of data. Now, what are 2D grids? When the data is stored in rows and columns, when the data is organized into rows and columns, that is known as a 2D grid data. And we are very familiar that when we store data in Excel, the format which Excel accepts is nothing but a 2D grid data. So Excel is nothing but a spreadsheet application that is a 2D grids of data, which helps me to organize my data, manage my data, analyze my data and make certain decisions from the same. So if I talk upon what is Excel over here, so Excel is a product of Microsoft Office. Now, you know, you, we all are familiar with the products which are available from Microsoft Office. They are definitely Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Word Doc, and many more things. So similarly, Excel is one of its product or one of its family member, which is helpful for us in terms of analysis of data and organizing the data for the same. So as said over here, that Microsoft Excel is a Microsoft Office product used to work upon electronic spreadsheets. Now, what is the meaning of electronic spreadsheets? We understand that what is a spreadsheet, that it's a 2D grid of data. But what is an electronic spreadsheet? Electronic spreadsheet is something which is stored within your systems. It's not something which is a hard copy of values or data. It's something which is electronically stored. Now, when do we call something as electronically stored? That this is available into my systems, into my laptops, into my applications, or it's a software which is available to me. So it's a software application used to store, organize, and analyze the data for the same. Now, when do you think so? Excel was invented. It was not 100 years ago, 1000 years ago. It just was invented around 1985. And ever since then, this tool has become the primary approach of going and handling data. If something related to data comes into consideration, the first name comes into everyone's mind is nothing but Excel. So let's understand that why this Excel 
is one of the tool which is now used into data and why there was a need of creating something called as Excel. So, if I want to talk upon that initially data was stored from right from 50 years ago, 100 years ago, there was nothing related to Excel available into market, but still the data was available and still the data was stored. But how do you, they used to store? If you remember, then when you go into certain offices, when you go into certain stores, they used to store our data manually into certain registers or certain files or certain sheets. So they used to store in terms of rows and columns itself in order to organize them correctly. But major problems which came when they were handling the data manually, the very first problem was the data was too huge to be loaded manually. The second was calculations. Calculating a very huge data become a lot of complicated. And the third would be filtering it out. If I want to filter it out based on certain conditions, criteria, or I want to find out a certain element from the data. These were the three major challenges which were faced when the data was manually being loaded. So people thought that we are into a system where internets are available to everyone, where computers are available to everyone. Why not create something which is dynamically helping us to solve all those challenges? So that's when the first spreadsheet tool came into picture. Now it's not Excel. The first spreadsheet tool which came into picture was known as VisiCal. Known as Visible Calculator particularly. Now what's Visible Calculator? Visible Calculator is purely dependent upon a spreadsheet operation just for the calculation bit. Where a calculation used to take 20 minutes, 30 minutes or an hours of time which was happening with the help of physical within fraction of seconds, with the help of certain drags and drops, which we now use into Excel. So the first spreadsheet application which came into picture was nothing but VisiCal, also known as Visible Calculator, just for calculations. But people didn't want it to be limited with respect to only calculations. So they thought of, let's move beyond calculations and let's create something different. That's when Microsoft thought, let's create something which will handle the data, process the data with the help of calculations as a component. So they created Lotus. Lotus as a software was also helpful in terms of management of data and organization of data. But it was only available for Microsoft systems or MS Office. It was not available for Mac users and Mac users were particularly available at that particular instance. So for them, handling data, organizing data and doing those calculations were a bit complicated. So Microsoft thought of creating a product just for Microsoft users, which is fast in processing and does calculations very quickly within fraction of seconds. So that's when in the year 1985, the foundation of Excel and the first version of Excel came into market. It was particularly for Mac users, that Mac, were, Mac users were using that for data analysis, organization and its calculation. But if I say, People started gain, Excel started gaining popularity once Mac users started using it because it was fast in terms of processing as compared to Lotus. It was quickly doing the task which were taking lots of time in other software systems. So Excel within a short span of time became popular and then later Windows also felt a need of creating Excel-like applications. So certain changes and user interfaces modifications were made and Excel was first released for Windows users in the year 1987. So that was a deep history behind how Excel got invented, right from storing the data manually to making those calculations dynamically. Excel has been one of the tools which is helpful for doing those things. So this was just about why the Excel was invented and why do you need Excel as a tool. So I hope this is clear with everyone. So here we understood 
amongst the three major questions that what is Excel and why to use Excel or why Excel was invented in the market. Now let's see how does Excel comes into picture with respect to different industrial use cases as well as its various application and what are certain features of Excel which makes it as an extraordinary tool to handle and work with data. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment on the concept you want to learn next.